Hey there, Spencer Jerks. It's Vegas here. Hope you're doing well. I'm all sorts of roped up, all of PJ's cocktails, so that we can finally check out Mandalay Beach. Let's go get started. It's the Ace of Vegas. The Ace of Vegas. Spinners and Sharks, and we are officially inside right now, so you immediately open to get your towels and to get your cabanas. Now, the cabanas are sold out today, so we probably won't be getting one of those. Usually, I try to weasel my way into one, especially during the week on the off-season, but it probably won't happen today. That's all right, though. Also, if you get hungry, we have the beach bar and grill to go. Really overpriced stuff. Wouldn't really recommend it. It's just kind of a nice thing if you're getting something poolside. Up next on the other side, we do have the beach shop where you can purchase the big floaties for the Lazy River, but you also do have to pay to get them inflated too. That's a weird thing. I think it's $5 now at MGM Properties. Let me know in the comment section down below if I'm wrong. But yeah, have a look at this. Spinach and artichoke dip for $12.50. Are you kidding me? Actually, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. Let's look at the burger. Double beach cheeseburger, $18. Yeah, hot dog, $14 with sauce and onions. Wow, yeah, this is pretty uh, pretty overpriced for what it is. But you know, hey, if you're at the beach, you're at the beach. And speaking of being at the beach, this place is bumping today. Have a look at all this, guys. I'll tell you, the coolest thing about Mandalay Bay is the fact that it's actually, you know, a sandy beach. There's actual sand here. Check this out. Isn't that great? But anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and take a walkabout and we're gonna go check everything out. So we have the Murray Beach uh, Club over here. That's the adults only pool. There are east and west lagoon pools. Um, apparently Lazy River's off to the right. And then so is the Delano Beach Club too. So yeah, uh, we got lots to go explore. So we'll check it out. Around. Let's walk by the beach bar one more time. Gonna avoid the pigeons up there, because we got some pigeons there. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of Maria Beach Club. It's not open right now. I'll go ahead and put the uh, days and times that they're open on the description box below, and probably just lower in the video too, so you can check that out. Let's see if we can go find ourselves a chair. A lot of chairs out here, so we can probably get a good spot. But yeah, no more social distancing, guys. It is over. We got cabanas on this side, all the beach bungalows, and those are full. It's also gonna be where the Daylight Beach Club is. That one's actually running as a nightclub now. 
or at least at the time of this recording, and that'll probably change in a couple weeks too, as the uh, pandemic resolves itself. So Maria Beach Club is over here, and then Daylight's on the other side, right past the restrooms here, but that's about where you'd uh, go in on a normal day. And Taco Shack is closed for some reason, that's a shame. Didn't want one of those silly frozen drinks, but I guess you can't have them. And then here we are at the Lagoon Pool. So we're slightly off the wave pool over here, so if you just want kind of like a waiting area, somewhere kind of shallow to hang out if you're not a strong swimmer, or you know, if you have kids that aren't strong swimmers, this is probably a better place to put them. love the energy of this place right now. Normally it's all about history and facts on these tours, but I just love this. I, I just love this pool. This is way beyond a pool. It's actually a legitimate beach, and I love it. And I know you're not really supposed to bring sand to the desert here. You don't spring sand to the beach, but this is bringing the beach to the desert, so it's a little different. But let's go check out the wave pool a little bit. We might jump in the wave pool later. I don't know. We probably should. Here we go. Also, a little warning over here. That wave pool is really intense. I'll show you maybe a little later on in the video. Maybe we will uh, actually jump in there. But yeah, that wave pool is intense. So do not let kids in that wave pool if they're under four feet tall. Watch that. But yeah, adults can go down pretty easy in that wave pool over there. So just be very aware of that. All right. This just struck me that I forgot to put on sunscreen spinners and sharks. Oh, pardon me, sir. Oh, thank you. All right. Yeah, lots of activity here today. All right. I'm trying to remember exactly how large this pool area is. I remember that the MGM Grand is the better part of five acres and I think it's slightly larger, but Mandalay Bay does pretty good here. We've also got more restrooms off to the right as well as a whole beach bar over here, the bikini bar. So it's got a little bit of outdoor dining. I don't think the actual bikini bar itself is open, so it's just available as additional seating. So that's a pretty nice little feature there. Hey guys, wave pool is ginormous. If you actually do have a surfboard or a boogie board, you can do a little surfing there. So that's a pretty neat little, really neat little feature. All right, and then gentlemen's room up here, if you're going to the lagoon pools. Oh, yep, and there is Lagoon Pool number one on this side here. It's a huge pool complex, really. Good place to do some sunning. Also, it's partly cloudy right now, so this is a great day to actually be out. It's still hot, but you can relax a little bit, get wet, enjoy a little bit of heat, too. Nice drink and feel refreshed. So, pretty great day. So here we are at the Eastern Lagoon Pool. Do a little walk around to that too. We actually might set up camp over here. That is the pool within of itself and we've got a few more cabanas on the left side here. These are the smaller ones, just the tent cabanas. So they're a little less complicated. It's also a nice little hot tub area over here. That's the spa area right now. There's another hot tub in the middle of the pool too, which is another neat feature. Oh yeah, there it is. It's off to the right slightly. 
and then way more cabanas on the back end here. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, here's a neat little feature. If you are hanging out at a bed, something like that, you can actually scan and order things with your MGM app over here using a QR code. That's pretty neat. You're gonna have to try that out. And I'm in the wrong pool lounge, I think. Nope, just another lounge pool. Also pretty quiet, a lot of cabanas over here. And we can actually make our way back to the western pool here. But this is just the lounge pool. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, got another angle on it, looks like the bikini bar is indeed open, so if you do want a few, um, you know, frozen beverages, now is the time and the place to come check them out. Alright, and here we are at the Western Lagoon Pool. It's pretty much the same as the Eastern Lagoon Pool area. You got your hot tubs, you got your large, it's a pretty large pool, so you can fit quite a few people in here. We're at 100% capacity now. It still says limited capacity on the website, but something tells me they're not following those rules, and I don't think it matters. I'm seeing plenty of open pool tables, excuse me, pool tables. I'm seeing plenty of open uh, pool chairs and day beds, so I think we're fine. open uh, beds back here if you don't mind uh, being a little farther away from the pool itself then you can get posted up over here you could even maybe get yourself a locker and of course here are the <laughs> stickers to order food and drinks too so that's pretty neat I like that feature And now we're coming up on my favorite feature here. This is even cooler than the wave pool. It's the Lazy River Pool. There it is, so you can get your tubes and your towels here, but this is the most important thing. The Lazy River Pool, you get in there, and then you just grab your frozen drink and you float. You even have little bridges to get across if you're walking. Really wishing my camera was waterproof right now. Should've grabbed the waterproof camera, but that one has lousy audio, lousier than this one. And then you can walk across on the bridge.
And then you get the waterfall on the other side too. Yeah, that is the Lazy River. All right, Spinners and Sharks, and that's it. That is the Mandalay Beach Club. That is my personal favorite pool in all of Vegas. Hopefully, Resorts World, once that opens, that may or may not dethrone it, but I guess we'll find out when we come back and visit it in a week or so. But till next time, Ace of Vegas here, signing out, wishing strong hands, and happy spending, you guys. Viva Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas